Hey y'all, welcome back to Realizations. Today I wanna talk hmm, about something really personal to me. We hear a lot, a lot, when you get on this path of spiritual healing, of healing your past traumas, of deepening your connection and your understanding about yourself and this world and everyone in it. You hear a lot about this journey, this path. This journey, while yes, we do see external things that change and we do externally become on a new journey, a new path as well but it doesn't start there. And so many of us, self-included, when we start this deep, deep healing, we are looking for something that we can see. We are looking for the person or the place or the thing or the move or whatever it is that externally is going to show us we are on the right path. But that's not the kind of path we mean. The deeper your understanding and your awareness around yourself become, the deeper you understand what this journey really is. And I'm sure six months from now, I'm probably gonna have a, another take on this, a deeper dive. But right now I'm seeing a layer that I never saw before. I'm in a new part of this journey where I am understanding that these neural pathways are a huge, huge part of what is being referred to when we say we're paving our own way, our own path. We are on our own journey. Think about this. When we deeply want to change something, it changes when our mindset changes. Well, we might know what we need, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to do or get what we think we need at that time. The journey isn't about solving things logically. This journey is about deepening our inner connection with self. This journey is about our mind and our body alignment and how we truly come together with ourself. That impacts our connection with others how we show up for our lives, our careers, the people that we love, everything, ourselves, everything. If our thoughts are depressing, if our thoughts keep us standing still, if our thoughts are built around fear and judgment and assumptions and control and all of these things that I see and I have lived through. We're just walking on a path because we're just trying to figure out where we are. 
we aren't aware that we are creating this path we see that it's already there it's already it's already here we're on it we're just moving forward we're just trying to figure out where it's leading we're distracted we're only focused on what could be up ahead where we're trying to go what we're far away from what we walked by too fast what we want to go back to but it seems too far away we're walking we're moving but everything is so messy right here right here it's all so chaotic so jumbled so heavy so consistent so persistent so now our journey is just survival it's preparing it's trying to think ahead trying to plan trying to control all of the things we let fear in we let doubt in we lose ourselves our body starts to hurt we start to numb ourselves with anything that finds our way together finds its way to us whether it be food booze cigarettes drugs sex avoidance depression can be so many things and everyone is different nobody walks exactly the same our journey is our journey within it is with ourselves. I've always had a different take on ego than it seems like the rest of the world has. I'm sure that there's people out there that feel like I do, but honestly, I really don't ever see anyone that says the word ego and feels the way that I do about it. Everything I ever hear about ego, it's about killing your ego or getting your ego in line or letting your soul win over your ego but I think that's all wrong I think that causes us to be more out of alignment with ourselves because our ego is really just our parent that's how I see it I had really great parents and I still do I don't know why I said had I have really great parents I think it's because I just see them so much as friends now I just see them so much as my people labels have never been my thing when it comes to that because everyone's interpretation of what that label means is different based on their experiences and what they know. For me, parents are amazing because my parents are amazing and I did a really wonderful job as a parent to my child. And to me, being a parent means you worry about them because you love them so much. And you just see all this greatness in them and you just want them to have all of it but that's not the way it works 
everyone goes through trying times, hard times, things that we wish they didn't have to go through. We wish that we didn't have to go through. We worry about them. We want to fix it. We want to hover. We want to keep them safe because we love them so much that it makes us fearful. That's what I think of when I think of being a parent. And that is why for me, my ego is just my ultimate. I love you. I want to take care of you. And it holds things instead of being present sometimes. I'm getting much better because I'm aligning my ego with my soul, with my sense of self. I am upgrading my beliefs. I am being aware when my fears are coming through because they are scared. They do not want me to get hurt. They do not want me to fail. They do not want me to end up somewhere that I shouldn't be. They, my ego just wants me to be safe. My ego is just worried because I haven't always made the best decisions as I was growing. I didn't understand anything that I understand now while I was making my way here. And if I would have, I would have done things so much differently, but I didn't because I was learning. So my ego is just afraid that I am going to make some of those old decisions. So the more I hold my own hand, the more I understand that love also needs balance. Love does not mean controlling myself or others. Love does not mean being so afraid of what could happen that I don't allow others or myself to move because I am scared. Love to me means knowing that it's strong enough to ebb and flow and have space and come together and move apart and true love will interchange with whatever it is supposed to interchange with. It will develop and evolve and grow and we honestly if we truly love we let each other we let ourselves be free. <sighs> Freedom, peace, trusting that whatever is supposed to happen will happen. And that we will be okay. We will find purpose and meaning in anything that comes. We will focus on the good that it brought to our lives. If it never comes back together, we will understand that it was only meant to change us in that period of time in that way. And we take what we learn from that and we let every single thing that will come to us because of those lessons, because of that experience, because of that love. We let it come. We let it be new. We let it be free. We let it be what it is supposed to be. releasing our old worries, our old experiences, 
we're looking for the things that we love in it. What does this love do? How does it build us? How does it change us? What does it make us aware of? True love makes us feel connected and peaceful and present. True love reminds us of who we are right now. It reminds us of where we've been and it shines a light on where we are going and just how far we have come. Everything else underdeveloped. It's shining light on where we need growth, where we need more freedom, where we need more letting go. So when we constantly feel at war with ourselves or we start something new and we let that doubt creep in and we find ourselves wanting to run away, feeling not good enough, not ready, not prepared, not all of these things. We're thinking of everything that we know from our past, everything that could go wrong in the future. We are scrambling to control and our ego feels that we are so out of alignment. We are not in tune with our bodies, with ourselves. Our minds are racing old mechanisms are kicking in. Everything we've been learning is trying to go right out the window. And sometimes we let it. We stress ourselves out. We make things harder than they have to be. We feel pain in our body, tension, we feel frustrated, annoyed, depressed, burnt out. Like we want to run, like we want to cry. We want to yell, we want to scream. We wish, we wish, we wish. Then we might find ourselves on a path, but we're going backwards and nothing looks the same. And we can't see any of the good because we're searching for things that seal in these beliefs that we're not good enough. We won't make it. The only option is failure the only option is being depleted. And then we panic because what do we do from there? But it's not about any of this. This is just shining a light to show us where we aren't as healed as we thought where we need to lean in and trust more deeply. Not in others, not in our things we'll find or places we'll go or things that will change our lives. The things that change our lives happen here. And only then will the external truly stay consistent when we are consistent within. The 
what does that look like when we find ourselves aware of all the negative we are feeling and holding on to in this moment we are rocked back to our present and our present says mm -mm, we aren't doing well then we remember right here this is what is creating our path we calm our bodies we calm our minds we look around what do we love that is around us right now what makes us feel good we drop our shoulders we relax our face we unclench our jaw we tip our chin back straighten our spine sit up nice and tall we breathe we smile <sighs> there is always something to be grateful for and we must find it we must We take the things that make us feel grateful. We start paving that new path. Then every time we catch ourselves wanting to panic, wanting to control, wanting to spin, we breathe. And sure enough, the more often, the more consistently we are looking for that awareness within, we are changing that path the faster we catch it the more peaceful we feel the easier it becomes to stay on track the easier it becomes to pave those new paths the easier it becomes to say oh I'm nervous right now this is new I'm scared we hold our own hand and we remember in the famous words of Bob Marley every little thing is gonna be all right trust yourself if you fail we will fail forward we are learning we are evolving we are growing Let yourself be. Let yourself connect with yourself. Teach your ego how to love you freely, how to trust you. That's consistency. That's learning. It's deepening your understanding and deepening your awareness and loving yourself fiercely, unconditionally, truly, which means you must love yourself freely. Trust no matter what comes your way. Not only are you going to find your way, but you're going to make it beautiful. <sighs>